eight o'clock on my computer. I don't have my phone. Is it yep, eight? I've got, I've got the same as well. <laughs> eight o'clock. So, well, we will begin. I see people joining us quickly now, and that's good. So, hey, uh, again, welcome to the Sunday night webinar. I'm Gene Colbago, uh, and as I just mentioned, Raj is not with us tonight. Uh, Dave Glay, he is going to, uh, I hope, sit in and help us out. Uh, sure thing. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, that means, Dave, I'm going to have to go in and uh, uh, correct your name when I do that for the closed captioning oh, on right, YouTube. Right. <laughs> I'll make sure it's spelled right. I would be very impressed if the computer got my name right. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, it misses me. I, I'm a cool bagel. Uh, oh, my God, you, you wouldn't believe what it pops up there. I, 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 I can't wait. Every week I just you know like to go there and see who, am I, who I am. That's Sometimes, right. Sometimes I'm G-E-N-E, J-E-A-N, I don't know. Anyhow, but anyhow, good night. Uh, good, good evening, everybody. This is uh, October the 21st. Uh, this is Web 106, and uh, we're glad you're here. Hey, uh, you know, we've got some things that we'd like to talk about tonight. Uh, the one main main thing is sway. And as uh, if you're just joining us, uh we have been talking about it, and we better mention it one more time because there are people joining us. There has been a, uh, I guess there's a problem with the school network. Now, apparently the uh, website is still up. Most of you were able to get in and get your email and the website uh, itself. So you could join us, thank goodness. Because if it wasn't, it would be in really bad shape. I'm going to be standing here by myself. Uh, but... If you wish to get into the online Office 365, you won't be able to log into it because uh, Office 365 does apparently go to uh, the school network, double checks your login, username, email to allow you into Office 365. And since that's not up right now, you can't get in there. Dave was trying to get in before, and he could not get in with his or, I guess, with your a couple of your students either. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I tested with both, and it's it seems like it's uh, it's, it's blocking out. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, you know, speculating that maybe yours is okay because um, if you didn't. I you know, was logged in before and not logged, logged in, out. Yeah. yeah, I was not logged out. I was in this morning or this afternoon. Yeah, see, so that's good. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we, we have a couple of things to talk about today or this evening. First of all, uh, uh, the first thing that, that we kind of advertised was Sway. And Sway is, well, let's just take a look here if we can get into, oh, boy, now where am I? I, I was here. Uh, let's see if we can get into the online. Okay. I think your third, third tab looks like. I'm sorry. Am I okay now? Yeah, I can see you. It looks like you're. Yep, you're on the right tab. So Sway okay. is. Yeah, Sway is right yes. here. Yeah, it Sway is an interesting thing. Sway, strangely enough, comes with Office 365, but it's also absolutely free. Anybody can go to the Microsoft Store and download it for free. So if you like. Uh, or if you would like to have it on your computer, you can go to the store, uh, Microsoft Store and type in Sway. Let's, let, you know, just to show you because there's another little point I'd like to make. Go to the Microsoft Store. Here is search. And this is for your own computers. Uh, I'm not sure, again, whether you can or would want to install it on a school laptop. There it is right there. Okay. All right. See, it says mine is installed. Okay. And I can launch it. Now, uh, there is another tool that I just noticed in here that you might like. Uh, I think that'll get me there. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. No, it won't. Oh, dear. Um, but let me show you. It's called, my, if you did Microsoft... Uh, Raj, in the last week or two, we've been talking about how do we get into Office 365 quickly. 
<laughs> online. And we've discussed putting it, I have a login right here on Chrome. And you can put it on any browser you want. Microsoft, the Internet Explorer is getting kind of outdated. And if uh, you are still using that, and I found out this week that a few people still are, do recommend that maybe you want to start taking a look either at Chrome, which is, I believe, installed on most school computers, or Edge. Edge is the new Internet Explorer for uh, Microsoft. Now, one of the nice things about both Edge and Chrome is that I don't have that login here, but you can go to the store and get an extension that will allow you to log into any of your office online tools and it can be installed uh, on your Edge browser. Well, if you don't use Edge, as I don't, I'll be honest with you, I use Chrome for the most part. Uh, it's right here as well, Office Online. And to get it, is very easy. If you're using Chrome, what we I, rec I really recommend you do is go here to, I'm sorry, to the apps. <laughs> Those things get me. Or to the Chrome store, okay? Chrome Web Store. And type, uh, you know, I think it's Microsoft Online. There it is right there and it will pop up. Don't add anything that's, notice this says red media, no, cool, don't. Microsoft Online, and notice mine says added because I have added it already. You can just click Add to Chrome, and it will put it up here. Then the first time you click on it, it will ask you to log in, and this is very nice because as soon as you do that, you can log into any of the tools, except for Sway, strangely enough, uh, that you can uh, have online. In fact, it's a way of getting into the online if you like. Notice I clicked on Word, and then if you click on this right here, and then Office 365, you're in here. So it, it's, it's a nice little tool that you might want to, and I thought I'd point that out. Okay, enough of that. Sway. What is Sway? Sway is a relatively new presentation device that has come out from by Microsoft. And as I said before, it is absolutely free. If you did not own Office 365 or were not, you know, if you did not have a copy of it, you can still put it on your, let me get rid of this, notice down here, uh, it's here somewhere, oh, I have it in here, here and here. I inst went to the uh, Microsoft Store and installed it. Very simple. And what it does is it syncs with the online one perfectly, okay? So it doesn't matter which one you're using, your sways are all stored online, so it doesn't really matter which one you're using. They are both the same, okay? Now, someone will say, okay, what's the difference between sway and PowerPoint? And I tried to look that up and tried to figure it out. And basically, Sway is a, I guess, maybe less formal, faster, flashier presentation device that actually does a lot of the work for you. And it creates nice presentations, I, in my estimation, 
that would be more used by individuals. This is, you could create a sway, and yes, you could show it to a group of people, but I think I would be more likely, if I were going to make a presentation to a group of people, to use a PowerPoint. So that's kind of the difference, that the PowerPoints are when you're making a group presentation, something like that, and it is much more um, developed, has a lot more to it. But Sway is kind of a great thing, and it's a great thing that you can use with your students just as well. Now, let me just show you one that I made today. <coughs> In a few minutes, last week or the week before, I know Raj showed you uh, a, a thing called starting from a topic, and we'll review that in case you weren't here, because that's a great thing, really a great element. But here's what a sway looks like. What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's cool. All right, let's go back here. I'm wondering. Ah. Uh, I'm wondering, okay, if I go to, there, there it is. There it is, okay. That's very <laughs> strange. Okay, this is what a sway looks like when you're designing it, okay? Doesn't look like a whole lot, does it? But this look is what it looks like when you play it. Now watch, I think, I hope, is it going to do it for me? Yes, notice the slight movement. Some people might call it the Ken's, Ken Burns effect. You're moving a little bit, aren't you? Okay. Um, and there is, I just, this is kind of a little bit different presentation, a little fancier, a little flashier, that kids kind of like. See? I just threw this together very, very quickly. This took probably 10 minutes. Okay? And here, this is kind of a cool thing. This is a whole bunch of pictures. And you can do all kinds of things with this. You can click on them to view the pictures. You can put a whole bunch of pictures on a single page. This is a group of pictures. If I wanted to look at them, I could click here. And I could just go through them this way, too. So... This is Sway. It's a presentation this way. And I think, okay, I, I, I hope you, you probably can't hear this. This is what my friends and I like to do during the summer. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, you'll notice that, uh, yeah, okay. This is actually, I don't know who did this, but this is incredible. That's the edge of Niagara Falls, by the way. Wow. That is... <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, I mean, it looks absolutely real. I mean, the, the, the waves and everything, and they will show you farther on. <laughs> okay, as you can see over to the right, you can see the falls. That's a, anyhow. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Definitely, definitely not one to show to to. No, students, no, no, kids. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't. Yeah, I love, but I'm just saying it. It's kind of, I just happened to notice that. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> and uh, let's get back to my sway. Let's see how this is very, this is a little different than we are unable to, please refresh. Okay, that's okay. Now it did refresh. I wonder if it ha is something to do with the uh, issues they're having at the uh, board with their network. Right. Now. How do you create a sway? And, and like I say, they're fun. Okay? Let's take a topic. I, I created Niagara Falls. I'll just show you. You know, let's create a new one. And the first thing that you'll do, you get a card. These are called cards. And you can put a background. I'm going to have to move something here. Let me do that if I may. And a title. Well, title. Let's just, let's just do the Niagara Falls because I can probably do that without making too many mistakes. Okay, so I can put Niagara Falls in there. That'll be the title. If I want, I can highlight it. I can edit it. If I needed to link it to a uh, another website, I could do that, and then you could link that and go to the website. The background is an image that you can put on 
well, let me show you. Now, when you click on that, Sway automatically suggests some of the things that it finds. One of them is Niagara Falls, backgrounds, nature, sign. Okay. You can, if you have them on your own device or on OneDrive, you can upload them from there. But I'm going to click on Niagara Falls. And what I like about this, you'll notice, and I recommend if you use this in school, notice this little check mark in Creative Commons only. This means that these pictures have been, uh, well, they're free to use without any copyright regulations whatsoever. And, you know, as we're trying to teach the students not to, uh, you know, steal, copy, whatever, that's a good thing. So I recommend that you use the Creative Commons ones only. Let's just pick one, for example. This one's kind of nice. And I'm going to, well, you know what? I'm going to need it later. I want to show something later. I need some color. So I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to hit Add. And that's there. Okay. And you notice immediately it added a, a picture. If I want, I can go into this picture. It says Caption. And if I type in Niagara Falls, oh boy, oh boy, did I mess that up or did I mess that up? Oh, yeah, yeah. If I type, what's going on here? My computer is not being nice to me. There we go. Niagara Falls. Okay. Now, what I like to do after I do every step, I can go and say, how does this look? And I'll go to play. And that's it. Okay. So far, not too bad. It even put the word Niagara Falls there. It put it there too. Hmm. Pretty cool. Now, if I didn't like that, I can do a lot of things with it. Okay. We'll show you that in just a moment. All right. Uh, but let's just, for example, say now we want to talk about the history of Niagara Falls. I'm going to click here. Anytime you want to add a new card, you just click here. Sometimes that button won't be there, but if you go over there and click, you'll get the button. Let's put a text image in there, or text uh, card in there. We might even want to put a heading, okay? And we'll call it history. Okay, oh, history. Do you want to put a background in it? We can do that. We can put a different background. Add it. Okay. Now, this is what we have so far. Now, again, up here, play. Notice now. Right now, if you'll note, I think you can see over to my right, I have like my elevator right here. This is showing it vertically. You can change your sways to show them different ways. You can show them vertically. Notice this is vertically. There it is. See, okay. And it's kind of, I will say this, they don't all have one screen, full screen. Okay. Okay. That's how it looks. Okay. And when you're ready, you can go back to edit. Now, while we're here, if you're saying, oh, I'm not really happy with the way it looks, notice up here, let me get rid of the pictures so we can see this working. We have a thing called a storyline. This is the storyline. That's the list of cards. The next thing is design. Oh, my golly. This is where you and the kids can go crazy. Okay. All right, if you click here, you need to go over here and click Styles. And first of all, you will be given six lines of styles. Each of them is kind of different. Some are classic. Some are a little more funky than others. Okay, and if you're not really happy with that, you can actually click on the little Customize. Now, notice the color here is white. 
Well, I you know, you cannot really go in and change the font color on Sway yet. Many people are asking that I, you know, on a couple of blogs over this week and people were saying, "Hey, Microsoft, will allow us to change the font color." So that might be coming. But what you can do to change the color tone, notice now they have like if I click this one, this is what I'd get. That doesn't look real good to me. But you can go up here and pick a color, okay, and it will base that on the various colors that were in that slide, okay? So if you know, and if you went over here, you would probably get slightly different ones, okay? Okay? So you might want to play with that. If you just want to play for a while, see the word remix up here? If you click on remix, it just starts bringing up different ones until you find one you like. Okay? See, for example, okay, do you like that? Okay, no, I don't. So I'm going to hit the back. I'm going back. I'm going to leave this the way it was. Uh, okay? Now, one other thing I should have shown you here. Let me go back to my storyline. Uh, when I went into design, the first thing before I went into customize, right up at the top, notice it says vertical, horizontal, or slides. You can, sh you know, show your sway in any of three different ways. The slides is more like the PowerPoint version. Here's the horizontal. Okay, now let's just play the horizontal. Notice now again the uh, elevator, whatever we want to call it, is down at the bottom. Notice these are not all going to fill a full screen. See, this is what we have so far. Okay, now to get out of this, we hit edit again and we're back to our editing. And then we may have to go to storyline if that's not there. And we can work some more. What else do we have? Well, you know, we have the history. So notice I don't have that button there. So I'm going to click and the button shows up. Hmm. Let's do a text, another text. And now, if I might, I am going to, if I can open another one, uh, just if I may, history of History of Niagara Falls. Okay. We're going to search. There was one good one. This one right here. Okay. Uh, all right. Here is a paragraph that I may like. As I read it, and I said, oh, I need that. So, yes, I can do a copy. I just did a control C. Now, I can either go back to my sway here or wherever it says add some text I can then go there I'm going to do a control V and there I've added the text notice that the text kind of looks pale you can do several things to the text you can highlight it and then you can emphasize it accent it you can do the numbers and bullets if you're doing lists but also over here up at the top is a way to make it a little bit bigger okay now we've added some more. All right. Play. Here now, again, is my sway so far. And now I've added this. But boy, does that look kind of, you know, just the text by itself, right? Doesn't look that great. Now, if you don't see the edit up above, move your mouse up there and you'll probably see the edit. And then you can go back to the edit. Now, I may, you know, it would look much better if I put a picture in with that. But you can't put a picture in a text card. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to add an image. And it mentioned Father Hennepin. So I'm going to do a little search for Father Hennepin. And there he is. Okay. Father Hennepin. And what I'm going to do is grab this picture and I'm going to put it right there. 
You can do it that way too. You can click and then add if you want, or you can just do it that way. All right, now I'm not going to be real happy with this, I don't think, but let me show you. Okay, and we have to remember that Sway does its own thing, so sometimes it may turn out. Ah, actually, that turned out pretty well. It put it on there. Sometime it does, sometime it doesn't. But let me show you how you can make sure that it does. When you have a text card and you have a uh, image card, if you notice, there's a little box here. If you click those, there's a word pops up here that says group and it will group those two together and you can group them in several different ways okay you can group them this way this way or this way and ah you almost have to look at it to see exactly how it's going to look I'm going to do that now I'm gonna hit play and, and I'll wait for my uh, elevator here. And that's basically, notice how, how it pops in though, this time. Well, it's already there, so it won't do it. But it will pop in and it's kind of a nice little, and a little extra. Now, if you don't like that, you can uh, click, click. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, where's the group? Group. And select a different grouping. That's a stack. I don't think you're going to want the stack, okay, because that puts one on top of the other, kind of like the pictures we just showed you some time ago, okay? Uh, I'm not sure what this is, so let's check that. Gene, can you, um, yes. can you insert a slide? Like if you, if you clicked on the slide that has history, would a yes. plus button appear and then like, you know, you could insert a slide between that one? Can you put a slide in here? It? Oh, yes, yeah. absolutely, yes. Yeah, and you can, uh, I'm sorry, Well, let, uh, let me do this. That's a good, very good question. Thank you. You can, first of all, notice the little arrow, the little up, down, left, and right. You can, uh, you can move these around, first of all, okay? Hmm. So if I were to create, say, an image slide, there's a blank image. I could then move it up here, okay? Is that what you're talking hmm. about? Yeah, and also I'm I'm just wondering if like right now you see how there's a plus button and it's in between. Yes. If you click on that, do you get a blank slide in between the two? It's this. Or if you just chose text yeah. or something. What yeah, this is suggested a text and image upload because these two are linked, I think, and that's why you're seeing. Ah, okay. That. I think that's what it's showing you that these are linked. Okay. Okay, and again. Uh, there is so much to, you know, there's so much to this and so much it does itself. Now, let's just see. Okay. That, okay. All right. So there's that. Okay. Now, let me do one more thing here. Let's go to the design. I'm going to change the design to slides and then play to show you what it looks like as a play. Yeah. There we go. Now you're seeing a full screen probably for each one okay this is what we're a little more used to I guess see but that movement I didn't do anything to create that movement basically Sway did it and that's I thought that's uh, you know that's pretty cool and it's very easily done uh, it's very easily done. Come on, go to my edit. <laughs> Why aren't you editing? <laughs> Come on now. Okay. Uh, we're, uh, okay. The last, you know, uh, again, let me go to storyline. And these are our cards again. The only other card that you're really going to need, click here. Notice that there's kind of like there's a two cards here. That's kind of the, uh, because of the grouping. Uh, this is called a stack. Okay. And that's where you can add a number of pictures. If you had pictures uh, or text or upload video, you know, have several videos stacked together, you could do that. But I'm just going to show you pictures right now. 
Uh, this is what I did. Again, Niagara Falls. All you need to do, let's just pick All right, a number of pictures. Okay, I picked, a, you know, I don't know, seven or eight of them there. And then just hit add. And now what it looks like is that you've, it looks like you've added a whole bunch of different slides uh, or cards. But you, in, in reality, what you've done is, Play history. Here's our history. Oop. And you, you know, you've hit a, hit those. And again, if you wish to view them this way, you can do that. To close that out, you just hit that little X at the top. Okay. I've shown you most of what a a sway can do. Okay. Uh, how to create one. The one little thing that I, I missed showing you and I really should show you is this. Once in a while, when you put a picture on a card, you will not see the entire picture. Okay? So, if that does not show up, say I wanted to show that entire picture on the word history and it didn't show, there's a thing called focus point. Over here, you can work with it in several ways. By the way, notice it says here, Sway picks the best layout depending on your device and style. So it, you can view these, <laughs> and I just read something this week, on your devices. Now, uh, if you have an Apple device, right at the moment, you can, I think, download the Sway app for your Apple pad or your Apple phone. But I read that as of November or December, I believe it was December, that app is going away. You will be able to view or you will save your Sways as they're saved online. But that app will no longer be uh, working, from what I understand. Uh, it was just a very short article, and I hope uh, you know, to see more about that, because it looks like they're taking it away. But anyhow. I'm wondering, Gene, if, they, uh, like, if they're doing that because it seems like if you go... I'm sorry, I lost you, Dave. Dave, I just lost you, Dave. Oh, Could you repeat like... that? Yeah. So if you go... Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, if you go on if you go on Sway using Office 365, yes, and they've made improvements to the product. Yes, and when you go on Office 365, those improvements appear. If you have an app or if you work with Sway uh -huh. sort of offline, mm -hmm. then you could have this situation where you've got, you know, yeah, unless the app they, is not updated, yeah, but the not website updated, is using yeah. something new and. So it see, it seems like that's why they're I that mean, well I maybe I yeah that could be well that, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> it just, just seems another, like a more efficient yeah, way yeah. than well yeah yeah I know I, I and I'm, I'm kind of joking but yeah I'm glad yeah I was just hoping it's not just a hey we're trying to get at Apple or whatever I didn't think it was that way at all. Hey, but anyhow, uh, when uh, we were talking about the, the the idea of a picture here. First of all, there are two things you can do with a picture. First of all, underneath it, the entire image is important. If you click on it, notice what happened down here. See, they notice here it's a little bit cut off. But if I do this, it's going to show the whole picture. Okay, so you can go in if Sway is not showing your whole picture go in and just click on that also if there are certain parts of the picture that you wish to highlight for example right there notice you can click there but you can't do both okay <laughs> you have your choice if you clicked here it will highlight that or if you want to click the people see it kind of notice how it angles down to the people or this guy here 
See? All right? So you can even work on the part of the picture that you wish to show. Okay? That's just another little, a little tool that you can use within Sway. Okay? But basically, other than that, you can teach yourself Sway by, how shall I put it, playing with it. Now, uh, as I think we've said before, and I will repeat, your sways are automatically saved. There, the, there is the one I just did. Okay? It is automatically saved. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to, uh, you know, do, do a control whatever to save it. If you work from the one on your computer that you've installed on your computer, it's automatically saved to the Sway drive or whatever online. Now, if you get tired of one, say I don't like this one, I can delete it. Yes, delete it. And then if I say, uh-oh, I should not have deleted that. You can certainly go to where it says deleted, and there they are. Notice, I don't know if you can read this, it says sways in the recycle bin are autom automatically deleted after 30 days. So it saves them there for 30 days. So you have 30 days <laughs> to realize we made a mistake, okay? Now, and then, <laughs> you know, I'm just going to click back on Sway. These are the ones. Now, uh, there are a couple different ways you can make Sways. And Raj uh, showed you this, but in case you weren't here, this is, this is one that could be used very easily in the classroom uh, with any type of topics. For example, if we clicked here, let's type in... Uh, I, I don't want to do the, something very deep. Uh, uh, well, somebody is going to do a, uh, a page on Abraham Lincoln. Create an outline. Then you click create an outline and it works on it. And notice it creates a, sli a card outline of topics that might be used in a presentation. Here's Abraham Lincoln. Here, add some text. And notice that this says we've added hints throughout Sway to help you get started. You can get rid of them, and I wouldn't recommend that, especially to the students, because there's some great ideas, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Here's Abraham Lincoln. Here's uh, like the introduction. Add some text here. Well, you can't just copy this and put it up here, but it's got some information. But notice the little two at the footnote. Click on it, and it'll take you to Wikipedia. And as I was telling you before, Dave, it, Microsoft, I think, owns Wikipedia, do they not? Or is, right. Yeah, so they are using that as their major source of information, okay? But if you go there, I mean, you can then say, oh, I want that information for Abraham Lincoln, you know, and then copy. Go back to your, where are we here, Abraham Lincoln, uh, Sway, I don't know, I guess I'm down here. Am I? Yes, there we are. Add some text. I can click here. I can then control V, and there it is. Boy, hmm. how easy is that? Now, uh, and again, students, if they wanted to put more cards in, they could just add another text card here to have more information about uh, who Abraham Lincoln was. Here are also some topics, and, and this works with no matter what your uh, subject matter is. Family and childhood. Well, if you don't want that, you can just go in and delete those, okay? If you click on these, you can delete them, okay? But you can set it up anyway. Early career in military service. See, these get it gets pretty heavy. Prairie lawyer, republic. You know, so you may want to take some of them out. The presidency. Well, that might be one in 
important one. Notice there's a group slideshow right there they built in that you might want to keep. Okay, and again, if you just played it right now, this is how it looks from their point of view. Okay, see, and notice now these are going uh, horizontally, so you know, okay, but again. It's it's just easy, and it would be easy for the students to follow along. You could create your own just as easily by going in, creating a new one, putting the topic, having a card, and then putting in several cards that uh, would uh, would allow you to uh, uh, you know guide the students. Uh, there's a question here, and, and, and maybe I, and from Rich, Rich Hoffman, and I goofed. Uh, Rich, uh, yeah, uh, do videos go into Sway like pictures? Yeah, that particular video, you know, the one I was showing you of Niagara Falls, yes, you can, it's called an upload. And what I did, let's see if I have it, do I still have it here? Uh, I don't. Okay, I I, oh, I got rid of the other Niagara Falls one. I bet I'm not sure what I did. Oh, here, here. is this the one? I um, pardon me. It's uh, Sunday night. Okay, there it is. See right here. To get that in, what I did is I went here and hit upload, insert from my device. Now, what insert from my device means is that you have to have the video on your device if you're going to insert the video the way I did it. However, if you wanted to, you could put a link to a YouTube video. Okay? You can just put it in and then, you know, like, uh, if you wanted to put a YouTube link, you would just put a text, you know, type the, you know, or copy the link from YouTube and put it in here, link it right here. And that way it would do that. Does that? I hope that answers your question. But yeah, if you have the videos, you can just upload them right into the into the show, and that's all I did. Okay, now getting back. I'm sorry to you know I'm going back and forth here. Uh, there. Anyhow, these are very easily done. You can create them for your students if your students are you know the younger classes maybe they're doing animals or something like that you could create a short sway you know put a picture here you know what's the name of your animal put a picture here you know some information here and there and they can go on and uh, research put the stuff in there create their own sway very very easily and i think they would be really motivated to do that okay I'm just, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure how this would work into uh, the existing curriculum, but uh, you know, again, there may be ways that uh, it can. And again, I realize that the curriculum needs to be followed, but uh, you know, if you can, uh, you it, use this. It would be a great, I think, a great little. Uh, way of doing it okay the I last think from uh from yes. a, oh sorry Go ahead. Go ahead. i'm just gonna jump in there and say i think Please. from a, a primary elementary perspective i think this is a good way to introduce uh a, a presentation format because it <laughs> takes away a lot of the you know the distraction if you go on powerpoint you can see everything you know you can see all the toolbar and see mm -hmm. all the uh, mm -hmm. options that you have which is all the decisions which is great for, for <laughs> yeah yeah yes, but that actually complicates things when you're teaching students yeah to create a presentation so using something like way a lot of the distraction and focuses it on to one thing this is where the title goes this is where a picture goes yeah it makes it easy to imp import those things and so i think it's a good um introduction to sort of Pre sure. a presentation sure. and then you can build you know if you, you still want to introduce powerpoint uh, mm -hmm. then it makes more sense because you know you can say well 
this is how you, you know, import something in PowerPoint and yeah. you can do these other things, you know, you yeah. can change text color and <laughs> some other things you can't do. Yeah. Right. Uh, but, but at least they have a concept of what goes into making a presentation and, and yeah. this sort of walks them through it a little more simply. So yeah. And, and it seems like of, a better option mm -hmm. for starting off. And speaking of PowerPoint, uh, we've been talking with uh, Mr. Granieri uh, that start from a topic <laughs> is a bone of, con uh, not a bone of contention, but if I may just show you, uh, and I, I'm going off again, uh, I have here, let's file, if I want to start a new one, notice this quick start, notice on mine, I, uh, let me explain, my off, I have Office 2018, going to be Office 2019 soon. It is similar to Office 365, but it has a few things different. But my PowerPoint has that whole, that, that same idea built into it. For some reason or another, uh, uh, and uh, we've talked to uh, uh, Mr. Granieri, and uh, we've got to talk to uh, Aaron some more about it. It is not incorporated into the Office 365 PowerPoint. But if I were to type in Niagara Falls or whatever here, I would get the same basic element for PowerPoint. And I think that I would hope that's coming along. So that would be a good thing, too, maybe for the grades, you know, stepping up. You know, uh, the next step up, if you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah, that would be yeah. great. Uh, hey, uh, one other quick little thing before, you know, before we leave, uh, want to show you, uh, you know, there's a start from a document. You can actually dump a document in here and use it. I had a, I had a short story. There's a short story. It's a, it's a really cool short story. If you've never re read it, Find it online called the Chaser. It's it's kind of cool. It's only take you five minutes. But uh, this short story, let me do the play. If you dump it in there, there's the Chaser. Well, I, maybe you wouldn't want to put this picture <laughs> for school. I agree. <laughs> I know, and I and I. But now I put a. Here's the vocabulary. What a Chaser is, and another term they're going to need and then they could just browse right down through the story if you wanted to you could add add some questions at the end that they could respond to and save into their sway folders okay or if you had teams, you could have them turn them in. But, uh, you know, it's, that's just another little way you could use it. Let me get back to Sway again. Lastly, if you go to Sway, I recommend that you do take a look you know, down here. This How to Sway is pretty involved. Uh, there are some others, and I'll, you know, I will say this. If you go to YouTube and do a search for Microsoft Sway, you will come up with many, many videos. Uh, as uh, Dave and I were discussing before the show, recommend that you do not view any videos prior to about 2016, early 2017. Because Sway was upgraded, made so much simpler, so much easier then. Uh, the old Sway had car, the card types over here. It had, uh, as Dave was saying, it had uh, <laughs> all kinds of directions up here. And I think maybe, uh, Dave, maybe they uh, heard you talking right. and, and, and simplified it. So that, you know, you're just going to work on, you know, the easy parts. Yeah. And really, they made it so much more simpler and a nice, clean interface. So anyhow, I recommend you do that. Uh, you know, there's some really good ones here that might give you some ideas of, you know, some of the kids. These are, I think, ones that kids did. I believe, you know, just clicking on here just to show you. This was the seventh grade environmental studies. You know, and I mean, you know, 
it's nothing fantastic, but you know, it's it's a, just a presentation, a nice looking. When I say, uh, I, I shouldn't have said not fantastic. I think it's really nice. Did a nice job on it. Okay, and now how do I get out of it? Is the next question. Um, ah, and we go home. If you do that, you go home, and then I don't know how we get out of this. My ways. Okay, there we go. All right. There's always a way. Look around for it. Okay. Hey, uh, if there are any questions, uh, you know, that you have, and Rich, thank you for yours. If there are any other questions that I can help with, uh, you know, or, or, or uh, Roger or Dave or anything, yeah, just put them in your uh, survey and would be very, very glad to do that. Now, lastly, uh, I feel I have to uh, go over something, one little thing uh, that uh, I messed up a couple of weeks ago, which maybe you won't remember, but if you do, I really messed it up. Uh, we were talking about being online in Microsoft Office 365 and that in OneDrive, which we like very much, and we were saying that we recommend that you do store all of your uh, files in OneDrive. It's, we were told one terabyte of information they're giving you, but I think now it's almost unlimited, so... That's an awful lot of inform uh, information you can store up here. We were even saying that you should, if you're at school sometime and have some time, go to your J drive and the N drive and the uh, the drives that you have stored information on. Transfer it to OneDrive. Now, having said that, we were talking about the fact that, uh, well, what happened this week uh one teacher needed some help with a uh, couple of PDFs. Well, these PDFs were fairly large. Notice they're 24, gigab uh, 24 megabyte. They cannot be emailed. Okay. Also, if you try to email a PDF, this is kind of interesting. I tried mailing a small PDF on Lotus Notes. PDFs will not email on Lotus Notes. Did you know that, Dave? <laughs> I did. I just, that was really weird. Anyhow, yeah, it was weird. It wouldn't say, it just says, no, nope, we're not going to do it. Anyhow, you can share any information by just clicking on this, what I did this, hit share, type the person's name here, Oh, you know what? It's not going to pop. <laughs> you know why? The, 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 the servers the, maybe aren't. The server is down at, at, at the school, so it won't. But it would pop up Roger Carroll or whomever, and you can share it. But here's the thing. If you share something, somebody asked me, say you had a, a, a file here, uh, and you shared it with somebody and they changed it okay and you didn't like the changes can you get the original one back and the answer is yes all right notice this now uh, this how are you i have not i don't think yeah it says shared okay i don't know who i shared this with i don't know anything about this but notice if you go over here, you will see three dots. It says show action. Notice it says version history. Notice here, this has three different versions. I can open any one of these. If somebody, if I shared it with somebody, it would show me, say, like uh, this one, September 14th, Roger Carroll. And if I didn't want that, I could click on the previous one. And this, these are all... Uh, different versions. I think it will hold up to 15 to 20 
past versions. So if you make changes to your documents, and even if you make changes you saw to your documents, you can get the original ones back. So I just want you know we were talking about that a couple of weeks ago, and I really messed that up. So I wanted to clarify that. Lastly, somebody asked me this week what a flipboard was, and you know, uh, Raj and I use those all the time. We have them on uh, Teacher Resource Center, so forth and so on. But we we use that as you know a great place. Uh, let me just click here real quick. And uh, what I wanted to do was to show you, and I'm not going to have time, how to create your own flipboards. So you can use them to curate, to collect, to organize your resources. As you can see, Roger and I have uh, 100 and I have 136 different magazines. Fold. They call the magazines folders, so forth and so on. To get one, let me just show you how you could get one. Uh, if you go to, now it's going to. I'm going to have to log out. Okay, let me see if I can log out here. Ah. I've had my I have stuff in my way here. Okay, if you go here to flipboard.com and then you can sign up. It'll ask you very simple questions and then it will start asking about your interests. You can put in a few interests if you want. And then once that's done, you can start creating your own flipboards, books, folders, whatever you want. Uh, we'll go over that a little more next week. But one of the nice things is when you are at a website and you like this website and you wish to remember it, collect it, all you need to do is click on flip it here. And, oh, I'm not logged in. <laughs> okay, let me log in. Okay, I can put it into any one of my 136 magazines. And then it will be there. I can save things that way. It's another one. Uh, we recommend very highly OneNote. And Raj and I are talking. We think that these are the two good things. Yes, OneNote is really good for uh, collaborating with uh, and actually you can, you can put flipboards into OneNote too. So it works out very, very well. So, hey, we're running to the end of the evening and I want to thank everybody for joining me uh, and uh, oh boy, my voice is gone. <clears throat> <laughs> And I think my mom, well, my mind left a long time ago. So, and I want to thank you, David. Is there any, any, any last, any, any last comments from you that you'd like? I just, I, I really appreciate the, uh, the mm -hmm. time that you guys are spending to kind of go through all of these different, uh, options well, on Office 365. And I think when people start getting on and exploring, yes, uh, exploring them themselves, you start to see, um, uh, how useful they can be in the classroom. Yes, yes, and uh, Raj and I are really going to start hitting the the teams, uh, which is the thing that brings it all together. I think, and that that will be really phenomenal. And we'd really like to to to, to get uh, you know get that out to the teachers because I'm sure that they will find that useful. And yeah, with that, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, and I've I was very impressed when uh, you and Raj. Uh, we're discussing what you had done in your classroom. So, hey, thank you for joining me. Thank you for helping me. Hey, I think Raj is supposed to be back next week. And, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, a certain uh, uh, Mr. Corella, who's with us tonight, maybe may, may I first, Mr. Corella, are you? Do you have a microphone? 
I have unmuted you. If you are with me, can you say hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, uh, are you going to join us next week, Mr. Carilla? I am. Okay. Well, there's there's the biggest advertisement. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, and I hope that uh, everybody will join us uh, and, and uh, Mr. Corella next week on the uh, Sunday night webinar. So, hey, thank you. And thank you for joining me tonight, uh, Mr. Corella. We'll see you next week. My pleasure. See you then. Thank you. And thank you, everybody. Uh, hope you have a great week. Uh, hour from now, you'll get the survey. Also, I think you'll be able to download a certificate if you need it. So give us those questions. Give us those comments. Don't be afraid. You know, that's what we're, you know, we need. You know, if there's some, you know, don't be afraid to be critical. If there's something we do, we've done wrong or we've neglected, please let us know so we can get to them. And with that, we'll say good night. Have a great evening, everybody. <laughs>